Hi guys, welcome to my tropical kitchen. Today I have a special video planned. I really want to show you guys how we make our conch salad. Now that we're in the Bahamas, we can actually go out and get conch and eat them. In the United States, you're not allowed to get them, but you can still order them. I think they get them shipped, right Matt? They get them shipped from the Bahamas. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so I sent out my little fishermen today to go out and get some conch. So now it's time for the recipe. I and I am doing a little drinking Bahamas style, but don't worry guys, I won't ruin that recipe because this is only 2% alcohol. <sighs> All right guys, so the ingredients you're gonna need are an onion, bell peppers, cucumbers, uh, hot peppers, I like jalapenos, salt and pepper, three limes, an orange for fresh orange juice, conch of course, and I think that's it. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. First, we're going to cut up the conch. This is what the conch looks like. This is after it's skinned and been harvested from the shell. You wanna cut this up into cubes. It's kinda hard at first, but once it's marinated in that lime juice, it's gonna be delicious. Trust me, I've had it before. Sometimes people leave in the pistols. That's what they call them. Really, it's, you know, the private part of the conch. But I told Matt to cut those out. We don't need those. Sometimes if you go to restaurants, you might find them if you pay attention to like if you eat open a conch fritter You can see them in there. They're not bad. I've eaten them before, but I just don't like seeing it You know in my conch salad it just doesn't give me a good vibe Okay, so once you're done cutting up about eight ounces of conch Which could be like one large one But you can do a whole bunch of small ones like we had to because it was pretty hard to find the conch actually here A lot of people eat them next. Let's cut up. We need one ripe tomato <laughs> you want to dice this up also. This knife sucks. Make sure you get a sharp knife. Alright, next let's cut up the onion. The produce out here in the Bahamas is not always the best you find, so we might have to really cut this thing up. All right, so you just wanna dice up this also. It's, this is pretty much an easy recipe. You pretty much just dice up these stinking ingredients and you put it in. And then the hard part is finding the conch and cutting it up. Yeah, cleaning the conch, getting it out of the shell. You gotta kind of bust it out of the shell. There's a trick to it, but I'm a Neanderthal and I just completely crush the shell to get it out. And uh, you can eat it though. It's good for you. It's got good calcium, I think. Good calcium probably. I don't know, they make a whole shell, so they gotta have something good in there. And as far as the conch pistol goes, they say, legend on the island is that it makes you more virile. It's uh, like a Viagra type deal. So I don't really need to eat one. I don't wanna get too crazy out here and have a little Matty Jr. running around the Bahamas. That so. won't happen, trust me. <laughs> Next, we should cut up some cucumber. Hand Ooh, it over, assistant. Time. Okay, are you? Ooh, Ooh boy. That's mushy. Oh boy, there's some mush. There's some mush to this. So we're we got a we got a mushy cucumber. <laughs> Nobody ever likes that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm pretty sure your produce is going to be a little bit better than what I'm working with here. But in Kristen's kitchen, that's overrated. You're not supposed to eat the ingredients. I'm hungry though. Is it mushy though? Let's go. It's pretty difficult without a table and a lot of sand, so I wouldn't advise to do this at home, but you know what? I thought it was gonna look cool. You know, we wanted to have the tropical experience for y'all. So, you know, we're out here doing the most, really. You're not fine dicing very much. This is gonna be a chunkier. 
I say go for a little bit smaller dice up. Cut the pieces up smaller so you get a... Are we really on this again? Snap back to our last video where I didn't cut up the pieces small enough for you. Ooh. What do you have? A little baby mouth that you just have to num 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 all the pieces? Okay, it's a little large, but as I was saying, it's hard to cut things up without a table. And half of it goes on the floor. But don't worry, guys. The seagulls will eat it if nobody does. I don't think seagulls eat vegetables. <laughs> he just said he did. He actually, he corrected me. My bad. I didn't know. Well, my bowl's kind of small. I think I overdid it on the bowl. Okay, bell What's peppers. Bell peppers. Bell peppers. All right, we got two different colors here to really spice it up, you know? And you're supposed to use about a half cup of bell pepper. We're probably, this is probably way more than that, so I might cut it down. Stop eating the ingredients. Pepper is good too. Let's see how fine, ooh. There really is getting a lot of sand in this. <laughs> Sailing's not the only thing we suck at. It's actually cooking also. That's why we love having the videos that we suck at. What else do we suck at that we can make a video about and show the world? Making videos? Go pepper. Just tasting these ingredients, sampling them. I think this is going to be really good conch salad. It's going to be good once we finish it if there's anything that makes it into the bowl. I can hear my mother's voice behind the TV right now saying, Kristen, get it together. She's not saying Kristen, get it together. My She's mom's saying. a really good cook. Well, here. Oh, Kristen, you know you can't. You know you can't do that with the sand's gonna get everywhere. <laughs> Is that my mom's voice? I don't know about that. And my mom's somewhere saying, oh Lord, that poor thing, she don't even know how to cook without getting sand in it. Oh Lord, I've never seen no one cut a pepper up like that, son. <laughs> if this knife wasn't the most sucky knife ever, and you want it in little itty bitty spots. All right, the anger's kicking in. You know when you start getting mad? You just have a little bit of mango beer. Is that what this is, mango beer? It's a uh, mango. Let me have some. It says mango double refreshment. Now you want 10 teaspoons or was it tablespoons? Teaspoons. Pretty much squirt a junk load, a junk load, a mess load of lime juice in there. You want a there. bunch of lime juice. You want like... You want to roll it though to really get the juices cranking. Crank it, crank it, crank it. I'll start rolling oh, this Oh, I almost stabbed your hand off. Or your arm. I need your, I might need your strength over here. Whoa, not the beer, bro. Now you just want to put about five tablespoons or teaspoons. Ow! Whoops. <laughs> Anyways, next you want to put in about five tablespoons or teaspoons of orange juice. And you can always do this to taste as well. If you like a little more orange juice, go nuts with the orange juice. <laughs> Don't mind my face when I squeeze the fruit. It's embarrassing, I know. <laughs> You know, we all make a funny face when we squeeze the fruit, if you know what I'm saying. Since my bowl's a little small, we're going to try to put it in a baggie and then mix it up. Ow! Sacagawea! The flies are eating me. The flies bite you? You also need to add your salt and pepper to taste. Don't worry guys, if you're a little confused because I'm a little scattered brain and I'm not the best at this cooking show, Make sure you look in the description below. The recipe will be there. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Kristen's tropical kitchen is not a good idea. Basically to get it mixed up, you wanna just go ahead and shove your hand in there and mix it around. Wait, no we don't. Oh, okay. You, you got stinky, dirty hands. No, I was gonna let you do it. Looks really good though, guys. Get excited. All right, now salt and pepper us, assistant. Don't mind Matt's extremely burnt back. I told him it was bad and he just doesn't listen. Right, my back got burnt because it took me all morning to find these comps. The every day I find one and the one day I need one for this, can't find one. Is that why your back's burnt or is it because you dive every single day for all times of every day? It's only for today. And you didn't put your sunscreen on this morning. I think it actually is easier if you just make it in the bag from the beginning. Ow! Oh, I want to let you guys know 
since in America you can't really get conch unless you like order it, I think specially, you can put fish in this too. We've had lionfish in it before and it's really good. Get some crackers, scoop it up, delicious. And this is your finished product. It looks like this. You want it to sit though for a good few hours in your refrigerator or on ice, whatever you got, and it will continue to cook the conch meat and I like to just put mine overnight to make sure that it's all cooked through. And then the next day, the conch is just like tender little pieces of meat. The cucumber really hits it off, I think. And enjoy! Let me know in the comments below if you guys ever made any conch salad or if you've had some before or if you have like some kind of a recipe that you like better. And thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. We got sailing adventures going all around and all adventures in the Bahamas and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. And you can't eat it straight away. You got like a little piece of conch right there? He does. I don't. Look, we need a rocks. Good. <laughs>